They said it was just a movie. They weren't expecting a cultural earthquake. There were hundreds of people in line for the first screening. Most of us were in costume. I spent a week camped out in my Comfure cosplay. Everyone wanted to go. This movie was like the Canadian Jaws. And not just because the director wanted to add a bilingual shark. Well, I've been a projectionist for oh, 20 years at that point. You know, I played all the big Canadian movies. Like Porky's, Porky's 2. This hour has 108 minutes. But I'd never seen an audience that excited. Sexually. When Comb Fiora came on screen, the men and women in the audience moaned so loudly that the dialogue was totally drowned out. Imagine if all of Beatlemania was condensed in one single movie about the differences between French and English Canada. Look, I warned them. Now, the projectors of that era were not built to contain the, the sexual intensity of Patrick Ward, let alone Comfior and Patrick Ward. <laughs> I warned them. Nobody would listen. It's fuzzy, but I remember clawing frantically at the screen, trying to get to those 40-something beefcakes. The Anglophones started creaming their jeans when Huar spoke English. The Francophones started creaming their jeans when Fior spoke French. Spanish speakers were largely unmoved. It was a madhouse. And the intense heat and human moisture was too much for the projector. Blew up after the first reel. And then, driven mad by the loss of the Huard Fior bilingual partnership, the audience started to turn on itself in what can only be described as a sex riot. I was making out and punching everything in sight. I woke up to where does Comfior live in my Google search bar and a rope in my hand. For the past 10 years, I've only dreamt of Fjord and Hard. All in all, it was pretty good. Three stars.